This week on Maker Update, clocking in with the Cube, Grand Central MIDI control, wireless NeoPixels, a rainbow archway, and a Mac Mini with a skull inside. Hey everybody, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to the first Adafruit edition of Maker Update. If you're new to the show, it's basically just a visual recap that highlights cool projects, tips, and news that I think you'll be into. For this Adafruit edition, I'm really just looking at Adafruit-related stuff, which is easy enough to do because there's so much great stuff here. So let's get started with my pick for the project of the month. It's a tough choice, but I have to give it up to the Adafruit IO Time Tracking Cube by Brent Rubel and the Ruiz brothers. I've just never seen anything quite like it, and for the right person, it really could make life a little easier. The idea is you connect the cube up to your computer and use it to track how long you spend on different tasks. Coding, tinkering, writing, coffee break, each activity has its own icon on the cube, and when the icon is facing up, the time spent on that activity is automatically logged into a Google spreadsheet so you can account for your time throughout the day. The Ruiz brothers created this futuristic 3D printed cube design with snap fit panels for each side and holes for mounting the project board and NeoPixel strip. Inside the cube, you have an Adafruit Feather Huzzah board to handle the code and Wi-Fi, plus a prop maker feather wing to power the lights and sound and detect the cube's orientation. It's an intermediate project not too pricey, and a great way to get started with Adafruit I.O. It's time for some news. It's been a busy month for Adafruit. Not only did they announce their Create with Cartoon Network partnership along with Microsoft, but they also announced their involvement with Microsoft's Make Code Arcade platform. The Cartoon Network partnership means that you'll be seeing more beginner-friendly circuit playground projects that tie in Cartoon Network characters. I think it's a great mashup for kids. The Make Code Arcade also has a great hook for kids, you can program and modify and play little JavaScript-based retro games using the MakeCode web editor, but if you want a little handheld version, Adafruit has the hardware and guides to make that happen, either on the Pi Zero or an M4 Express board. John Park continues to build out his sound lab with a USB MIDI controller based on the new Adafruit Grand Central board. My favorite, though, is this optical step sequencer he made with a Cricut and a Feather M4. I want to make a giant version of this thing to hang on my wall. The Ruiz brothers also showed us how to turn a Halloween board into a 3D printed Mac Mini complete with startup chime. And hooking back into that Create with Cartoon Network announcement, they made Pearl's gem weapon from Steven Universe using a Circuit Playground Express, NeoPixels, and some basic craft materials. Aaron St. Blaine shows how to make an interactive Powerpuff Girls Valentine using a Circuit Playground Express. She also did this really cool build showing how to use the Adafruit Neo Trellis keypad and a feather radio fruit board to make a wireless NeoPixel controller. Dana Wall wrote up a fun guide on making this fiber optic rainbow archway using a NeoPixel dot strand and hot glue gun sticks. It turns out that hot glue sticks are a great way to direct and diffuse LED lights. For another take on this idea, you can check out John Bumstead's glue stick LED matrix on Instructables, which posted a few weeks back. Finally, for those of you lucky enough to have your hands on the Grand Central board, Mike Barella has a useful guide on how to turn it into an audio soundboard in just 10 minutes. Now, outside of the Adafruit universe, there were a few standout projects I highlighted this past month that I'll quickly recap. On Instructables, Amy Goodchild has an outstanding guide on how she made this geodesic dome covered with over 4,000 NeoPixels that react to a Microsoft Connect. A combination of 11 fade candy LED controllers, each with their own power supply, were needed to drive all the lights, and the whole thing is just awesome, and Amy generously includes every little detail, template, and bit of code. Go check it out. 8 Bits and a Byte have a guide on how to make this internet-controlled wall plotter using a Raspberry Pi and software from Let's Robot. They call it the Plotty Body, and it uses two stepper motors and an Adafruit stepper motor hat and a Pi camera module. I can't imagine the internet has a lot of nice things to draw, but let's keep an open mind. I have some tools and tips to share. You've been hearing a lot about the Grand Central M4 Express Board and seeing all the cool projects, but have you read the primary guide? There's an incredible amount of features on this board, and this is the best way to get yourself up to speed. The Cool Tools Podcast has a new episode up with Adafruit's John Park. John goes over some tool recommendations, but also spends a fair amount of time running through the live video streaming setup that he uses for Adafruit videos. The Ruiz brothers have a great layer-by-layer -layer tutorial video up that covers how to make print-in-place hinge designs in Fusion 360. What's especially cool is that they show how to take advantage of user parameters so that you can adapt the same hinge for other designs 
just by changing a few numbers. Finally, let's take a moment to acknowledge the awesomeness of the Circuit Playground Express. It's easy to get distracted with all the new stuff Lamar and Phil show us every week, but behind the scenes, this board has been racking up around 150 project guides. You can program it with Microsoft Make Code, Circuit Python, or Arduino. It has lights, buttons, a speaker, a microphone, a motion sensor, a temperature sensor, capacitive touch pads. It even has a place for you to write your name on the back so it doesn't walk off. It's one of the few boards I can recommend to anyone without reservation, so go check it out. All right, and that does it for this first Adafruit edition of Maker Update. Be sure to leave a thumbs up or leave a comment. Let Lamore and Phil know that you're into the show. And when I'm not here, you can catch Maker Update over on the Make Magazine YouTube channel. You can also sign up on the Maker Update email newsletter to get show notes emailed out to you automatically every week. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next month here on the Adafruit channel.